What's up, guys? Mr. Gims back again for another dead buy. Hope everyone's having a great day. All right. Anywho, it's the anniversary event, and that means lots of blood points, and of course, <laughs> lots of problems to come with said blood points. Help me, Mr. Gims. I'm trapped. Help me now. Lots of blood points. <laughs> Dead by. Leave, leave, leave your entries in, in the forums bel below And I'll read your op opinions in the next episode episode of episode of that episode episode Bye 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 bye, 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 bye. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message all right, Decisive should be a 10 second stun. Good start, this one. <laughs> There's always a Decisive strike threat. Oh, I'm not on the right page. And this is coming from a killer main. <laughs> Killers that choose to tunnel should be punished. They are, they get a five second stun. Um, just not mildly inconvenienced. Other suggestion, using Decisive should heal the stunner to healthy instead of staying injured. Could you imagine a 10 second stun or healing straight to healthy with four survivors, survivor friends, on comms? I'd like to see you killer mains deal with that then. Bullshit. <clears throat> Absolute bullshit. No, it's a perk to deter tunneling, not to give, not a perk to throw the entire match because you weren't paying attention. Agreed. I think Decisive could disable the killer's power for 30 seconds. It's kind of dumb how you can eat a DS, stun with Nurse. You can eat a DS, stun with Nurse, Blight and Spirit, and in immediately down the person five seconds later. That's never happened ever in the history of game in, in, of Dead by Daylight. That's never happened. Five seconds later, you instantly down them. You get a stun for four or five seconds, isn't it? Bullshit. It's all bullshit. <laughs> We're starting off bad. <laughs> Has anyone figured out what the surprise about the <laughs> for the event cakes is? Generally, genuinely wondering if someone discovered what it's all about. Basically, if you run a cake, the hidden effect of the cakes that the devs were like biggieing up is that you get an aura read ability and you can hear sound cues. But that's it. Uh, shows crowns within eight meters with an audio cue when it's moved. Yep, that's it. That's the big secret. They said, ooh, there's a big secret coming with the cakes. Yeah, it's an aura reading thing. <laughs> well done, baby, as usual. Uh, how in the world is this Chris and Claire? Oh god, yes, the newest addition to the Goblin Army. Yes, she looks good. So that's Claire. That's Claire there. She looks good there. You know what? I can kind of, I can kind of see what they were doing with the separation of the eyes and the lips. Uh, it's a little bit too much up. I can see what they were doing, but that's awful. <laughs> that is, that is another Goblin. <laughs> what about Chris? So that's him. Yeah. That's early on, isn't it? That's Resident Evil 1. Yeah, he looks great in game. I think he looks great. He looks very much like that. I think they did good with Chris. What's wrong with Chris? I think he looks good. Who is the tall ghost man? <clears throat> Who is the tall ghost man? Ooh, spoopy. He appeared once, then disconnected over a year ago, never to <laughs> Never to be seen again. Do 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 bum bum bum. That's pretty creepy. That looks like um I don't know. Ghostface? Maybe? It's not a survivor, is it? Uh oh my god, they're giving hints that Slenderman is the next killer. <laughs> For real, so I think it's just one of your teammates or the killer walking around. Yeah, it has to be. It's nothing like Yeah. Slenderman confirmed. <laughs> That's kinda creepy though. It's not Michael Myers or anything like that, but he seems tall. I don't know. Should killer speed be nerfed? Christ. All right, Sluzzy the fifth. They seem to collect them now. Should killer speed be nerfed to maybe 4.2 or 4.3, especially on killers with one hit down abilities or lunge or long lunge attacks? Why do I do this anymore? I know survivors run at four meters per second and with all the ranged attacked killers, one hit downs, no ed, etc. I thought maybe devs should take another look at the killer speed thoughts this would also help chases last longer and help the killer mains develop the much needed skill to compete 
when they do reach red ranks. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We don't have to compete at all right now. It, it's not like this game is completely balanced or anything like that. <laughs> Absolute dickhead. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there. No. Uh, yeah, this is ridiculous. And make holding W stronger. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah, it's going to be more of a W simulator with... Yeah. Low quality. <laughs> Bait. <laughs> I like it. This guy's an idiot. Lots of idiots today. Oh, God. I just dealt with a micro moron. Now I've got to deal with this idiot. <sighs> What's it going to be about today? Dylan Leon needs to be buff. Just, they just need to be buffed, like, just the survivors. Do you know what I mean? They just need to be buffed. Movement, speed, strength, everything. They, they require five hits now before they go down. I gotcha. <sighs> Slurzy is hot. Slurzy is so hot right now. There is not much about the two that are meta-changing. Welcome to the club, dude. Nemesis. Hardly seeing anyone use the perks because they are subpar in helping winning. In... What? They are subpar in helping win. <laughs> That's like Sluzzy's quote of the year, isn't it? Survivors don't helping win. <laughs> Blast mine doesn't stop Pop Goes the Weasel. It kind of does. It adds a stun to it. It's a minor four second stun. Yeah, that's pretty minor. Killer proceeds to pop it anyway, costing the survivor a lot of objective progress regardless. And you're costing the killer time. Also, you want to talk about meta perks. Nemesis, welcome to the club, dude. I've seen Lethal Pursuer twice. Maybe. If that. There's no meta for Killer, so what are you talking about? Killer still uses their perk. Well, yeah, they will do that. <laughs> and the Killer has ruined, which is most likely the case. Then the perk is completely useless, at least for most of the match. So let's let, let's talk about that, because uh, Jill has a really, really good totem tickling perk. So we'll see what he does about this, because he says that ruins OP. The effects of Blast Mine are negligible at best. Flashbang is too difficult to use. Flashbang's too difficult to use. Hop on a locker and press E. Okie dokie. Uh, requires extreme precision. You can get him on the pickup. You gotta use him properly though. Killers are countering it in matches by looking straight up in the sky. Okay, you gotta time it properly. Uh, I have yet to see a flashbang do anything useful in the game. Well, you're not using it right, I can tell. Too easy to counter, requires the survivor friends to use it. Why are the devs forcing the use of survivor friends to play the game? That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Killers are not at all concerned about Blast Mine and they are not worried. Well, we're not concerned about Blast Mine because it's a random event that happens, you absolute moron. I, I, as a killer, I don't I don't know if the gen's been booby trapped. Do you know what I mean? And I don't go, oh, maybe I should think about this for a minute. By the way, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even have time for that. We don't have time to think when we play killer. We've got to move, move, move. You know what I mean? Well, you can just sit in a corner and teabag for a while. Absolute moron. What? <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Why is Counterforce so weak? The totem going completely across the map is not much of a perk. Why can it not show all totems? It does show all totems. Here we go. So you're saying ruins OP, right? Counterforce shows the... When you do a totem, it shows the furthest away totem that's not been done. You can go run to that totem and do it, and then it happens again, and again, and again, and again, until all the totems are gone. So therefore, ruins gone. So, that's a fine perk. It also takes care of one of your biggest problems, which is Ruin OP. Uh, it all, alternatively, just run small game. It's it's really odd. Why can I not show all totems? Yeah, that's stupid as well, because it does show all totems, inevitably. Survivors already have to do two to three objectives when Killer only has to do one. <laughs> all right. The killer is already totally changing the game in their favor with Ruin and probably Undying to make it that much harder. Again, I revert back to Counterforce or Small Game or any of the Totem Tickling perks. I can't do this anymore, guys. I'm actually going insane. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! This was one of your lower tier ones again. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get dig deep for that if you want to be a real winner here. Yeah, he's a moron. He's being legit, by the way. He's not trolling. This is actually what he believes in. He's one of his believies. You know what I mean? You feeling a dip in view, Sluzzy? Got to try and get back on the weird horse with more bait. <laughs> okay. God. Oh, God. When is Wraith's nerf? He just got buffed, by the way. <laughs> I'm about done. I'm about done. <laughs> 
<laughs> Versing this killer with an uncounterable lunge. Drop a pallet, run away from the loop, look the other way. Change directions, there's a million things you can do. Every match is a bloodbath because go through a window, I don't know. Every match is a bloodbath. <laughs> what are you, Rambo? I'm coming to get you. Because they are way overpowered. There's no counter to him being so fast and using the wall, <laughs> wall hack. <laughs> it's a fucking add on, man. And then the lunge being so huge. Even if you have sprint burst, it won't matter. Sprint burst matters. Are you waiting for him to uncloak first or are you just running when you see him coming? His movement speed is too much. It's not fair. He can spam his power for uncounterable lunge with no cooldowns. You're right. He doesn't have to go in and out in invisibility all the time. There is no cooldowns. Revert his buffs. He had decent kill rates. The buffs was unnecessary. The devs need to speak about this matter because it's game breaking. It's finally balanced in my opinion. Yeah, I think he is. I think he's good. I think he's in a good place. Sprint burst is a counter. You are probably just running off the second you see him. See, people understand. Normal, everyday, workaday people. Just normal people. It's not morons. Wow, the killer is making me leave the generator I was rushing. How dare he hit me with it? I refuse to run away. Use spine chill and stop crying. Here we go, Sluzzy. This is your next build, right? Because you're a windy little bitch. All right? It's time for you to man up. Okay, it's time for you to man up. This is where you're gonna run. You're gonna run spine chill because you always complain about killers coming up on you. Counter force, DS, because you're sick of being tunneled. <laughs> and self care because you're a little bitch. <laughs> what are the random breathing sounds you hear when playing server? Oh, wow, okay, this is interesting. Yeah, so I'll try to imitate it. Um, occasionally in a match, for killer and survivor for me, you'll hear a deep breathing noise. And to me, I've always explained it as, it sounds like David King. But like sometimes you'll be outside of a terror, it's always outside of a terror radius. You'll hear like, <sighs> like a, it's, a, it's like a deep exhale, do you know what I mean? Breathe in my ear, <sighs> Mr. Big Boy. Like it, it's a, it's like a deep exhale. Do you know what I mean? It is. It's, it's a bug. It's a hundred percent a bug because it's just been in the game for about maybe two years, maybe something like that. Uh, let's see what people say. I bet this is what he's talking about. Over my long time playing Survivor, I've noticed that sometimes you will randomly hear what sounds like a man exhaling. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's not your Survivor, as this sound is the same regardless of who you're playing as. Is this some sort of bug, just an ambient sound, or something lore related? It's definitely not something lore related, that's a stretch. <laughs> it's a bug, dude, it's DVD. You hear it as killer as well, maybe a feature or a bug. This game is perfect that... This game is so perfect that often you can't tell one from the other. Yeah, agreed. I never paid much attention to it if you could hear it as a killer, but still, I wonder what that breathing is supposed to be. Also, I like your sarcasm. <laughs> Yeah, Def Can, I've been thrown out of a loop multiple times. Yeah, exactly. I, I've heard a noise before when I'm in a chase and I've gone to it, but it's just been the glitch or the bug. Um, yeah, it, it is a bug. It has to be because it happens both sides, no matter what character you play. And it happens, it happens like once every match for me, maybe once every second match for me. So it's funny that people are talking about this shit because I've never seen this before. This is cool. But let us know, guys. Do you ever hear it? You, you'll know what I mean if you if you, you listen to this. I'm supposed to be Legion, but I'm Meg. What? I queued for a match as Legion, left the room, came back, and I'm locked into a match as Meg. How does that happen? Do you have a boyfriend or something like that? Or a girlfriend? Maybe they changed it for you? Uh, is there like a video or something of this? Because it's quite possibly the weirdest bug I've ever heard of. There's got to be a reason why. That that Even for Dead by Daylight, someone's done that. You know what I mean? I always thought that the Death Guard and Meg Mask looked like the fifth member of the Legion. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Interesting. Oh, Mandy talks. Mandy talks. Was there an actual killer in the match as well? I'm trying to figure out what happened here. Do you have a cat? Oh, God, the cat stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, don't get him started with cats. You'll start getting not queen in here going, Oh, look at all my cats. I'm, oh, my God. They're so good. They're my babies. Oh, my God. They're my babies. <laughs> cats alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Mandy talks. 100k players on Steam, congrats, the chart is outdated and won't update, so yeah, it's over 100k though. Where is it? Yeah, 90k there, that's old. When did you do this? June 30th. Yesterday. It is over 90k. Uh, I saw that a little while ago, incredible numbers, especially for a five-year-old game. What? Incredible numbers, especially for a five-year-old game. I don't get it. What's that mean? 
that's if statistically, if you're talking about a five year old game with 90,000 on Steam, that's bad. Right? Right? Hang on. Well, hang on. Do you know how old Counter Strike is? Are you trying to say five years is bad? So for 90,000 people playing, that's really good because it is five years old because that's an old game. Guys, how old is Counter Strike? <laughs> More than five years. How old is Dota? I've been playing Dota since Warcraft 3 mod. Yeah, um, it's got 553,000 people online. I, I know it's. A, I know these two games are, are, are big. Um, how old is Grand Theft Auto 5? It's like five years old, right? It's old, older than that. 110. Um, Rust, Rust, it's beating Rust. That's actually incredible. That's actually incredible that it's beating Rust. And Ark. Shit, that's actually big. But yeah, saying that it's a five-year-old game, and you know, that's really good considering it's a five-year-old game. It's got nothing to do with how old the game is, and I think the devs don't understand that. It's about how good the game is. Yeah? Counter-Strike looks like shit, by the way. It's not a good-looking game anymore, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. But the gameplay and the mechanics and the competition and everything that's in the game is really fun. Hence why it's drawing in 659,000 people. Same with Dota 2. I've got four, over 4K hours in Dota 2, 4K in old and 4K in new, which is Dota 2. Dude, it's a fun game and it's got a lot to it. That's why that many people are logged in. 90,000 in comparison to five years is not good. But Mandy Talks, you're an idiot. <laughs> Go on, roll it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for Dead By this week. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I feel a lot more insane after doing said Dead By. Um, thank you so much for all the recent views, the subs, and everything that you guys do, the new members, the donations. You guys, uh, you guys have been absolutely amazing. And remember, you can join the conversation with me over on Discord and submit your own Dead Bys. The links are in the description below. Also, Twitter to keep up to date with the channel. And um, yeah, guys, I hope you have an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Get those blood points flowing like the rivers of Babylon. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.